Hello everyone and welcome to what is the most requested video we have had since we've been going back in 2016. Now next to me is the very first Starfighter Mark 1. Um, this is going to be a quick introduction into it. So we're going to, you know, go into the chassis, the display. Um, we're going to have a look at the haptic track pad. We're going to take a look at the ports um, and yeah, kind of touch on the removable webcam, the kill switch and bits and pieces like that. So. Um, yeah, your host today is me. Um, we've not done this before. Um, my name's Ben. I'm one of the technical analysts here at Star Labs. And yeah, let's go through it. Okay, so focusing on the chassis itself to start off with. So uh, Starfighter weighs uh, a whopping 1.4 kilos. And that is kind of down to purely the uh, magnesium alloy we use, which is AZ91D. Um, and that is used in aerospace engineering. So that's really cool um, if you didn't know that. Um, another thing that you can Google is the coating that we use, which is PEO, um, and that's plasma electrolytic oxidation. And again, please just Google it um, because trying to explain it is, yeah, even gonna go over my head at one point. Um, and yeah, we kind of tie that together with the black nickel star logo itself. Um, it gives the muted branding look um, and yeah, I mean, it looks sleek, it looks stealth and yeah, mixing it all together, it's given it a phenomenal looking laptop and um, yeah, we're really pleased with the results. Okay, so yeah, the next most important part of the laptop is the display itself. Um, you can't really do much laptoping without the display. Um, so yeah, this one is the QHD variant of, uh, so, so we've got two variants. We've got the 4K and we've got the QHD, um, both 16 inch. Um, and this one comes at, yeah, 16, 10 aspect ratio There's 3K and yeah, it comes with a brightness of 600 CDM. Um, we're really impressed with this and it scales perfectly. Um, so yeah. Let me just show you. So, so it opens up. Yeah, you can. If it will let me try and do it. Uh, uh, uh. Try and type, record, and show you at the same time. So yeah, as you can see, just how bright and bold the colours are. Um, it is a phenomenal display and we are so pleased with it um, and yeah I will just show you now just how it scales at say 200% for instance so I'm just going to pop it down for a minute and head over to display settings shoot over to 200% and apply that and there can see just how well that has scaled all the icons um, the time bar at the top um, yeah it's it's really really well put together and yeah we are just so pleased with, with how it's come out so this is the QHD itself as I say and the uh, prices um, even for 4k yeah it's all on our website so yeah should you wish to go for that particular option then yeah by all means please do but um, yeah, it's always good to see. It's always good to see. So, yeah. Okay, so focusing away from the display now, we're going to go with the haptic trackpad. So the reason we've gone with a haptic trackpad is because it's solid state across the whole of the surface. And essentially, yeah, it's, uh, it's a vibration rather than your classic click. So it will be consistent across the whole of the surface itself. Um, tie that together with casting glass and yeah, it's, um, it's really sleek and yeah, it, it's really, really nice to use. So I'm just gonna press down on it now and you can kind of hear the feedback you'll get um, with each press, so. So there you go, music to my ears personally. Um, and yeah, as I say, we are really, really impressed with it. And yeah, let's now focus on the keyboard itself. So 
The keyboard comes with, uh, it's a 1.6 mil travel, uh, all backlit, and um, yeah, we, or it has been known to be like the Zenbooks and MacBook before they went for the funky looking keyboards or the funky feeling keyboard, should I say. Um, take that as you will. Um, Apple, don't come for me. Um, and yeah, so yeah, there is a really premium feel um, when you're typing on it. And yeah, we, we just love it. So we've actually all been fighting to, that's, that's a good pun, that is a good pun. We are fighting over using this in the office right now because we've only got one. So, um, but yeah, we, we love it. So yeah, that, that's, that's a bit more of an overview on it itself. Um, and now we'll just go on to the ports. Now, this one is actually the Intel variant. We do have an AMD variant, which you can order on our website, and that will actually come with a USB 4.0 port. Um, whereas on the Intel variant, you've got two USB-C Thunderbolt 4 ports, and you've got the uh, USB-A 3.2 Gen 1 port, and you've got the full HDMI port on this side. Now, if we flip it around, you've then got the headphone jack, you've got another two USB-A 3.2 Gen 1 ports, and you've got the removable webcam, which we will go into shortly. Um, you've also got the connector for the removable webcam. I don't know if you're able to see that. Um, at the front there, but again, we'll come on to that very shortly. Um, you've also got the kill switch here, and you've got the micro SD card reader. So we've been really pleased with the amount of um, port functionality that we've been able to offer on this one. And we've had a lot of feedback and requests to say, can you add more USB-C ports? So yeah, we are really pleased that we are now able to offer that. So that was just a quick introduction to the ports. Um, and yeah, now we'll go into kind of kill switch and, um, and the webcam itself. So, I'm really not going to go into much detail itself about the webcam, um, apart from just how it functions and just so you can see it for yourself how it works. So this is the case for it. Now in the, uh, in the original uh, prototype that we had for the fighter, that would have fallen out right away um, because the magnet in it just, um, it wasn't up to our standard. Um, so yeah, we've got a much stronger magnet in this now, so you can shake it about and do whatever you want. Uh, probably wouldn't launch it. Um, and so, so yeah, uh, should you feel, oh, you know, am I gonna lose it or anything like that? It would be really impressive if you did. Um, but should you do that, we are gonna have spares uh, to order on our website. So there you go, and it just flicks on the top there. you can just see yeah how it sits on top so it's um, it's a really sleek design that we've gone for and um, yeah we love it um, let's just take that off now Put that down. you've probably noticed as well that the suspender regime um, works perfectly on the fighter as well so just another thing to add Now, we'll now go on to the kill switch. The kill switch. This is one of our most requested features we have had for so long. Um, and yeah, we're really pleased that we're able to now offer it in the fighter. So I'm just gonna <coughs> come over here. Um, this is where the physical switch is itself. Now, whilst it is a physical switch, it will cut all power off to the card. Um, so the wireless card will include the Bluetooth and say your Wi-Fi network itself. So once it's off, it will be off on a hardware level. Um, so essentially it is a hot plug. Um, now I'm just gonna demonstrate it now and show you just how that will work. So right now you can see that is off. And you'll see yeah, you can't see a Wi-Fi signal in the top right corner there. Um, now, if I was to flick it on, you'll then see 
the Wi-Fi come on instantly. So you don't need to reboot at all uh, yeah, for this action to, to take effect, which is really cool. So whilst it is done on a hardware level, um, you don't need to access the BIOS to do it, and yeah, you don't need to reboot. So I'm just going to flick that off. And you can see, yeah, the wireless has been turned off. Um, so that will include the Bluetooth as well, just to reiterate. So there you have it. Um, everything that you would ever want in an overview, apart from speakers, battery runtime, performance, those sorts of things. So we will cover those in a separate video. Um, but for now, yeah, this is kind of a sneak peek. And should I have, uh, should I have had the correct editing software, you'd see fire emojis up here. You'd have seen explosions, epic music. But for now, I don't have that, unfortunately. This is our first video doing this. So yeah, we hope you've enjoyed it. Um, thank you so much for all your support and patience during this time. Uh, yeah, we, we cannot thank you guys enough. And yeah, we really hope that, yeah, you, you love the result as much as we do. So yeah, any questions? any comments, um, please feel free to reach out and um, yeah, we'll be happy to help. Um, so thank you.